before this video starts, I just want to put it out there that um, I just want to support local businesses. I know that there's no way in hell that this would be sponsored anyways because I have like not that many subscribers, but I just want to clarify that it's not. I just want to support small businesses and I really do like them. So that's all. Okay, enjoy the video. Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Um, as we all know, during this time, it's especially important to support small and local businesses. Um, and while I'm in Illinois right now, I know a lot about coffee in Oregon, so we're going to be supporting a lot of Oregon businesses in this little series, but today we're going to be talking about the Portland Coffee Roasters. Um, this is obviously a roastery out of Portland, Oregon. Um, they're not the smallest roastery by any means. I mean, they have Portland in the name and there are quite a few locations, but they are still in that local realm and I really like their coffee. So we're just gonna talk about it. So I do have some notes. So I'm just gonna pull out my little notebook here um, just to make sure I hit everything that I need to. So these guys were founded in 1996 and really their big mission is that they're rooted in making good relationships with every step of the way. Um, I'm actually gonna put this down. Um, so they're really rooted in making good relationships with people in the coffee industry every step of the way and their packaging really resembles that. So, you know, you start on the back with like farming and then picking the coffee and then roasting and the barista and the taster like everyone is on this package so they just really respect every step of the way and yeah they just really want to make sure that it's all incorporated if that makes sense I don't know. Um, and then they also prioritize fair trade organic and Rainforest Alliance certified farms. So what that means is any farm that is, well, it's sustainable and, you know, treats the rainforest how it should be is going to be prioritized for them to buy rather than, you know, copy that isn't so great for the environment. Um, so yeah, I just think they're really awesome. Um, I have these three different coffees. We're not going to try all of them today. I mean, there's not really any point to that. I've tried all of them and you watching me drink the coffee isn't going to really do anything for you. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about them and we are going to make the espresso. So right now their like special coffee is the 32 women produce this coffee. Coffee. It was their special for International Women's Month and it's still going on. Um, I mean, International Women's Month isn't, but they're still serving this coffee. Um, it's a light roast and it has notes of fig and honey. Now, this might be my favorite coffee I've ever tried from them, and I have tried quite a few. I do really like going to their coffee shops um, when I am in Oregon. So, this one is amazing. The one that I is like my go to not like a seasonal one, but just kind of my go-to black coffee from them is their Columbia. It's a, also a light roast um, and has notes of wild berry and cane sugar. I, like I've said in many videos at this point, I love coffee that has, you know, fruitier berry notes. Um, so yeah, I think this one is a really good pick. Their espresso, it's fantastic. And we are gonna zoom you in and show you kind of a demonstration on this espresso so you can see how much crema it has and just you know everything about this espresso is really great so we're just going to zoom you and well i'm i'm the only one here i'm the only one who does this so anyways i'm gonna zoom you in and show you the espresso So 
on that clip, it has just beautiful body. And now that it's settled a little bit, you can still see that there is just a really good amount of crema on this espresso shot. So I'm gonna give it a try. And yeah, I mean, it's just perfect. And it's crazy how good it is considering I am grinding it by hand in one of these um, grinders and not a professional espresso grinder. Um, it just, it's really hard to grind consistently good with that type of grinder. And this coffee seems to come out good every single time. I haven't had a single bad shot pull from this espresso. So that's super awesome. It's a really good home espresso for anyone who has an espresso machine. Um, but then also other coffees, the two I recommend are the Colombian and the 32 Women coffee, but I mean, they're all really good from what I've tried. Obviously I haven't tried all of their coffees. They have a lot of coffee, so, you know, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about them and I have a few other roasteries that I'm going to make videos on that I just really recommend and like I said it's really important to support local right now um, or just small businesses I understand that right now I'm in Illinois and these guys are from Oregon um, but yeah I just think it's really important and if you give them a try you know that's awesome so I hope you all have a great day Bye.